Hi, Miles and Martha Loss from Cobble Banker. And this video is about the proposed station, station 42, that's going to be on Silver Palm. I uh, just got off the phone with Mr. Commerce from the county. And the location for the station is if you go down Silver Palm, you pass the gas station, there's a street, there's a small pond there. Just past that on the right hand side is the proposed location. It's going to have four bays. It'll house 15 personnel that actually will live there. Um, they have their shifts and so forth, but it'll have 15 people at a time. Um, and it's 15,500 square foot. And they're going to have an official groundbreaking. So they're out there with the shovels and so forth. And they're having an official um, opening as well, or an official grab there. And they're cut the ribbon and the whole nine yards. Now, the station itself, it's part of a package. There's going to be four different stations. We happen to have one right here. It's not in the budget, so what they're going to do is they're going to borrow the money. Because they're borrowing the money, we have to vote on this at the general election in November, unless, you're, of course, you're voting early. Um, it's proposed to be just over $70 million. What that will mean to us is in our taxes, we'll have an annual increase of just under $9 a year to cover the price of the four uh, proposed fire stations. In addition to that, we're going to see a benefit in our homeowner's insurance. Now, I'm not a licensed insurance agent. You need to talk to your agent. However, there's different classifications for, it's called protection class or PC. And there's a particular class if you're located less than five miles from a fire station, which when this fire station goes in, that'll be the case. Right now, we're greater than five miles away from a fire station. And it'll mean a difference of about $200 to $400 in your annual policy. So it's going to be a significant difference. And hopefully, the station will go in. It, it looks like it's moving forward. Everything's a go. Um, now, technically, it's called a bond referendum. That's what we're voting on. So if you are looking at me in this video, to my right will be um, the actual location. You click on that and you can see a map. And to my left will be a link that will take you to the information about the voting, the amendment, the name of it, um, all the information so you can go ahead and vote for that. Anyway, if you have any questions, let us know. I will be talking to uh, the fire department for the county again in a couple months. Just get an update. He said it's okay if I call him every couple months to find out what's going on. And uh, talk to you soon. Have a good day.